Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here and welcome to this uh, Halloween special. Happy Halloween to everyone. So in this little uh, Bitcoin update, we are going to have a quick look into the lower time frames. We're gonna have an update from uh, the video that I uploaded this morning. So we're just gonna focus on the lower time frames because even though Bitcoin is looking very bullish right now, uh, there could be some warning signs. So let's dive straight into the chart. So currently you can see the one hour time frame. And as you can see, there is a potential bearish divergence uh, forming because currently Bitcoin tried to push higher than $14,200 here. So from this resistance that you can see here, and we got for now hardly rejected. So it looks like that we are building up a support here along this green line and we have to keep an eye if we, we are able to uh, trade along and also break out here to the upside because we could be also forming here this potential arising wedge which could tend to break out to the downside. Because if we have a look here into the RSI comparing to the price, you can see that in the RSI we have a lower high and in the price we have a higher high. So that of course is a bearish divergence, but only here in the one hour time frame. So even though we could see a possible pullback potentially down towards our main support currently here at around $13,500, uh, we should be still shifted to the upside. But since it's weekend, I think uh, the price action, we shouldn't give too much significance. And very often we have seen always like uh, pumps and uh, dumps, especially on Monday, we usually retrace where the CMEs uh, closed and they closed right at $13,800. So it is very possible that uh, we most likely gonna retrace back uh, on Monday where we close the CMEs on Friday. So wherever the price is going during the weekend, most of the times is retracing back to where we closed the CMEs. So I still think we have some continuation left here to the upside, potentially to retest this 14K area before maybe a breakdown. And then we have a retest of $13,500. Uh, the, the only problem is also that here in the four hour, you can see that we are getting a bit exhausted here. Uh, here also we have a bearish divergence. We have here a higher high and in the RSI a lower high, which of course is bearish at least for the lower time frames. So in my opinion, there is a very high chance that maybe this price action which we are seeing right now is not that much significance even though it is very bullish that we are trying to fight here this uh, 14k and we are not like falling down here towards $11,000 again or anything uh, like that. But you can see also in my own indicator that we are starting to look a bit exhausted same like we were over here once we tested this $13,800. We also got a sell signal here and I think as soon as here also we're getting a sell signal it is very likely that maybe we have another uh, breakdown here towards uh, 13,500 potentially even towards uh, $12,900 before uh, we are retracing back to where we close the CMEs on uh, Friday. So my friends, I think uh, you shouldn't give too much significance on this price action which is going on right now. But of course, uh, it is of uh, course very bullish that the Bitcoin is trying to push uh, higher. And we are already fighting here with the main resistance before Bitcoin is going really uh, parabolic to the upside towards a new level. So I think this uh, coming uh, Sunday, so tomorrow, it's going to be very interesting to see what the price is doing or if we are able to push higher than 14k. Otherwise, I'm expecting some nice price action during this weekend. So make sure that you're able uh, to trade. So if you still need a, a Bybit account or Femex account where you can trade the Bitcoin and other assets up to 100x leverage, you find all the register links, all my referrals down here in the video description. With my links, you can get uh, some bonus. And um, my friends, actually right now speaking with you, it's not me, but it's the ghost of Halloween. So happy Halloween to everyone. Go out, Hello. do some <laughs> trick or treats and we're going to see us all in the next one. Bye bye. bye.
difference at all. Your mind is what there is. Everything. But the only way to find that out is to persist in the state of delusion as hard as possible. That's one way. I would say the only way, but it's one way. So, almost all spiritual disciplines, meditations, prayers, etc., etc., are ways of persisting in folly. Doing resolutely and consistently what you're doing already. So, if the person believes that the earth is flat, you can't talk about it.